round do it. Two. Round two. Second uh, time here in El Paso. We're here two months ago, hunted real hard. I'll be back. Uh, who knows what's about to happen, so uh, come with us. Reunited in El Paso, Texas, Randy, Ron, and Bob load their gear, grab some grub, and head the three hours to the Sierra Diablos. On arrival, Jim Breckbean and the entire High West Outfitter team is already looking over rams. With everyone officially together and the rut in full swing, it's just a matter of locating the right ram. You know the old adage, never pass a book ram on the first night, you would shoot on the last night. Losing light fast, they decide to call off the stock and just put these sheep to bed and try them at first light. To the right, boss. Going across the road to the right. Okay. It's okay. Relax. Just relax. You see him? No. Yep, I got him. Hold on. Wait. Here we go. Okay, squeeze. That was a hit. He's dying. He's dying. He's down. He's down. Hey, He's you down. got He's your down, round, buddy. He is heavy. Dark. Nice. Dark. I saw the dark. I don't know what there. to say, man. Are yeah, what do it? you say right there, man? That's some... Hey, what, about, what did I tell you? When it happens, <laughs> it's going to happen quick. <laughs> nice work, man. Awesome, dude. Nice beyond shot. the beyond. Beyond, man. Nice okay. shot, Bob. Yeah, One shot, Bob, back. man. That was a high pressure shot. Got it done, high man. High pressures I've ever oh, shot anything. Oh, yeah. I just pray, God, let it be quick. I did not want to wound an animal. No. Man, oh, man. Thank you, Lord. That is nuts, man. We got up. Uh, well, last night we were coming out of out of this canyon here, and uh, I spotted a big band of sheep up in the skyline. We uh, we couldn't uh, we couldn't make a move on them last night. We could tell there was the ram we we're after in there, and uh, kind of put them to bed. Got back over here before daylight this morning. Had a little trouble relocating them, but we knew they were here. We could find some of the younger rams that was with them. Um, one of my guides, James Barton, down in the bottom sent me a picture and I said there he is told them and the rest is history Bob what'd you think well we saw him up on top I thought I busted him with my big old cowboy hat on <laughs> and I just knew I had to stay right next to you and in between you two guys and I just kept coming kept coming and uh, you put me right on him bro 245 he's going away and the, the sweetest words I ever heard that's a hit 
and he goes up the hill another 20 yards he stops he rolls back and when he started rolling i just started crying it was awesome man these guys are the pros from dover they ain't better i haven't hunted with better men what a great what's well, just a highlight of my hunting career at 56. Absolutely. this uh this big ram had left his ewes and was coming over to fight with two other rams that we had seen this morning he's just a heavy dark beautiful ram it's my privilege to have been here with uh jim breck bean and james barton and and evie and the entire team with bob arbach thank you it's our privilege for once in a lifetime and bob said man the pressure's finally off once that ram went down uh, hunting desert sheep there's a lot of pressure involved and you better believe that the guides feel it also but uh, I'd hunt with Jim Breck anytime, anywhere, and uh, Ron, thanks for being here. Happy uh, to be part. We, uh, Ryan, we missed yeah, you. We're missing our friend Ryan Olson, but it's, it's our privilege to see another great trophy ram uh, going to the record books. Absolutely. Good work, guys. Look at that, man. Oh, he's beautiful. There are no words that can properly describe the feeling of accomplishment. The naive just see a dead sheep. Those of sound mind see hard work, new friendships, teamwork, encouragement, mental and physical growth, the conservation aspect, food, and last but not least, an incredible memento of this great experience. Now, when a wild sheep is harvested, the Department of Fish and Wildlife will measure, age, then drill and plug the horn to complete the legally harvested ram process. All the information is used to aid in the management of wild sheep in West Texas. If you would please remove your hat, I'd like to close in prayer. Lord, thank you for Texas, thank you for wild sheep, and thank you for sportsman interaction, putting sheep back on the mountain. Lord, I pray we never forget our responsibility to care for the land and the animals the way you have intended. In your name we pray, amen.